Hello everyone, I thought I would film a quick video letting you know my November selections for Book of the Month. If you didn't know, I'm a Book of the Month ambassador and I love their books every single month. They have some great picks. For my book, book of the Month today, you can have one of these books for only $9.99, which is amazing. And then if you want additional titles, it's also $9.99. And like they're a really great price and you get an awesome tote bag when you first join in. It's like a really good tote bag. I use mine quite a lot. So I will leave all the book of the month links down below for you to check out. I highly recommend them. I have read a lot of their picks and I really enjoyed them and I am so excited for the November selection because there is a lot of good ones. So I thought I would share with you what books I picked for November. So I picked three and I've actually already read one of them so pat myself on the back. And the first one, like I said, I've read is The Rules of Magic by Alice. Alice Hoffman. Alice Hoffman also wrote Practical Magic, which yes, is a movie um, with Sandra Bullock and um, Nicole Kidman. This is actually the prequel to Practical Magic, so you don't have to read Practical Magic. I myself have not read it, so I decided to read this one because I love the movie so much. So in this book, we actually follow the two aunts that are in the movie Practical Magic. So we see them at a young age as along with their brother, and it starts like in the 60s and goes up to kind of now. So it's basically their whole lifespan starting when they were quite young. If you didn't know, Practical Magic follows this family called the Owens family, and they are witches pretty much. And they have also have a curse on them that whoever they fall in love with will die. So basically all these women and people in the Owens family have to deal with that, that the man that they love is going to die. And this, I wanted to love this book. I didn't end up loving it, sadly, but I still really enjoyed it. I love, I do love the way Alice Hoffman writes. It's very magical, definitely magical realism. But I think my problem with this book is I was expecting it to be more witchy, like a lot more, you know, maybe like spell making and just talking about it in general general but it really follows um, Franny at life and you really get to see that yes they are like witches and they have powers but that doesn't affect them it's really about their life and who they fall in love with and the choices that they make so overall I would recommend this book because it's a beautiful way she wrote it and it's very compelling but it took me over halfway to really dive into but I still really I'm still really glad I picked it for book of the month and I did enjoy it overall so that was my first pick my next pick which I was so excited about is Artemis by Andy Weir. If you don't know Andy Weir, he also wrote The Martian, which is one of my favorite books of all time. Great book, great film adaptation, and I feel like I can't ever say that because a lot of the times the, feel, the film adaptation is not so good. Not that with The Martian. So this is another book kind of in space, but very, very much different than The Martian. So this follows um, Jasmine, who is a person that lives on the moon. So basically there is a city on the moon and only like crazy really rich people and eccentric people live there so jazz so jasmine or jazz as she likes to be known by lives on artemis and basically i think she is like a thief she steals a lot of things or does a lot of things that she shouldn't really do and she gets mixed up in trouble and then next thing you know that she's in like this really big mission thing going on i don't know i don't want to know much about it because it sounds very different from The Martian and I think the problem with when you fall in love with one book by a particular author you kind of expect all their books to be like the exact same way so I'm gonna have to make sure like my heart and my mind are not like this is The Martian because it's not it's a different book and that's a hundred percent okay because that's what an author does you know they write different books so I have to be like Mark Watney's not in this this is not about an astronaut this is a completely different book just enjoy it for what it is and I really hope to do so. I haven't read too many reviews on it. I'm kind of not wanting to read any reviews. I just want to go into it and see what I feel about it. So I'm planning to read this very, very soon. But either way, am I am I going to say I'm not excited about this? No, I am super excited to read this book and I really, really hope to love it. But we'll just have to see. The last book I picked for book of the month is Bonfire by Kristen Ritter. Kristen Ritter, you wonder, is that the girl from Jessica Jones? Yes, it is. So the so the actress Kristen Ritter has written a book. It's a thriller book. It's all about a girl that a girl named Abby who has left her home and basically just decided to leave and she's now an environmental lawyer in Chicago and 
some a case takes her back home to her town in Indiana and basically like her whole life that she had created that she kind of went away from starts to crack and fall apart. Thrillers, I don't want to know much about them. I just want to go into them, but I love thrillers. I have yet to read a lot this year that have really wowed me, so I really hope to enjoy this one. Basically, I would say this is about a girl that has kind of escaped her past and now she's back home and her past is coming back up to haunt her and like, ca like catch her. So I'm really hoping to like this because it would be amazing to read like an actor's point of view, like an actor's book that I really enjoyed so I am super excited for this I'm super excited for all these so there you have it those are my three picks for book of the month this month and I am like really wanting to read all these very soon I've already read one but I want to read the other two like ASAP so if you are the book of the month subscriber let me know what books you picked out this month and if you're not the book of the month subscriber I'll leave all links down below if you want to join it's a great deal you know what you're getting it's not a surprise box there's no goodies you literally pick what books that you want and if you don't and you can skip months too which is great with book of the month so if you skip a month your credit will be applied to next month so if there's no titles like that particular month that like really interest you just go ahead and skip that thing and get another credit next month. That's the beauty of it, which I love because not every month I'm like, oh, those are amazing. It's okay to do that. So yeah, let me know what book of month picks you are interested in. And if you've read any of these, also let me know. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.